Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. We have a little bit more than 4 days before the Havening event and we are all very exciting what will happen once uh, the Havening is taking place. As you know and if you watched all my last videos I told you many times that you should wait to take profits at least till the Havening event because I still think that we could break here this 9400 and go towards the 10k before we could see a possible rejection point. So far we are still fighting here with the $9,400 main resistance here. We have the RSI in the one hour time frame above the 50 stochastic coming from oversold and as you can see the 20 moving average in the one hour is pressing here towards the main resistance. I still think we're gonna see some fireworks to the upside pretty soon and also based here on the other time frames everything looks still very bullish for the long time frames but this is what we have to see once we're gonna reach this $10,500. So we start as usual here in the one hour time frame. Also here in the Bollinger Band, you can see that we now completely retrace back down into the middle area and we should expect another leg up here towards 9,400 and retest here the main resistance pretty soon. MACD is still shifted to the upside, but here in case that we're gonna lose the middle area, I think here at around 9,000 to $9,200, we should have a lot of uh, support right now because we tested it already once here the previous resistance line here at around 9000 we came down here we tested it and bounced immediately back up so we should be still heading to the upside here and we should see here a breakout of this $9,400 in theory pretty soon and we can also go straight to the four hour time frame because also here you can see that the 20 moving average is here at $9,100 so in case that you want to top up your long position or if if you want to open up a new long position watch out here for this area between the 20 moving average at $9,100 down here to the main support this line now should be acting as a support in case that we are really gonna see a little uh, rejection here down to this area which is at $8,950 so in case that you want to top up your long or open a new position watch out for this in the four hour we are still trading above the 50 the RSI is still very bullish stochastic is coming up here into overbought territory but here also we have some room left to the upside and also if we go over to the Bollinger Band you can see that after we overshooted it to the upside we retrace back down here into the middle area between 9260 down to $9,000 and we should see here continuation and a possible old overshoot here of this $9,400 in case that we're gonna have the breakout. Uh, MACD is still shifted to the upside and if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see this clear resistance line here, this red one, which is giving us resistance so far. We are overbought here in the daily, so I still expect here a possible bigger dump here towards the 20 daily or here the 200 daily moving average before we could see a potential breakout here of this 9,400. It is possible because we are overbought here in the daily in RSI and stochastic. And also if you go over to the Bollinger Band here, we are still trading here at the top area. This doesn't mean that we have to go down, but it is very possible looking here at the daily time frame. MACD is still shifted to the upside, so here everything is still looking good, but we are overbought, so that could signal that sooner or later we could have at least a week down here to test one of these moving averages down here, but it's not necessarily to happen uh, right now. This could also happen once we're gonna top out here 10,500 or even um, start to trade again above $10,000. This is what we have to see once the halvening is coming up and also once and if we are testing here this 10,000 thousand five hundred dollar i don't want to go completely fomo before we are gonna break this ten thousand five hundred dollar because here between nine thousand five hundred and ten thousand five hundred is a very high chance that we're gonna see a big dump after testing this area up here but in case that we completely overshooting it to the upside here and break out from this possible $10,000 resistance, I think we could see a huge run like we had in 2019 when we had this uh, breakout from 5K towards 14K. The difference is now that we don't have
have any future gap maybe a small one or something is lining up somewhere at around 7000 to 8000 here on the CME chart but we don't have bigger CME gaps below of us right now so in case that we're going to have a huge run to the upside which is possible to come we have also to see what kind of future gaps we are going to create because this is what happened in the last big run to 14000 we had several future gaps below even down to 7000 and as you know after we topped out at 14000 we came down to close all the future gap that we had below of us so so far we don't have any bigger future gap below of us and everything is setting up that we could see a huge run to the upside and this rally that we have seen now from 3800 to 9400 is still nothing and the big leg up we still have to wait for so that means that what we have seen so far was just an accumulation and we should see the big breakout pretty soon and if we go to the weekly time frame this confirms my theory even more because here we are just starting to trade above the 15 the RSI stochastic is not yet overbought and we're trading above all the important moving average here like the 20 weekly or 50 weekly and we had already several weeks all in green without leaving any bigger CME gap behind so that means we could be in here for a big run to the upside we are just waiting here for this break of 10,000 500 I think latest then when we're gonna break this 10,500 all the bulls will come back and probably everyone will gonna FOMO in into Bitcoin because maybe we will never see those prices here again especially after the halvening event and if we're not seeing any dump then but just sideways moving or maybe even a bigger pump then this was maybe the last chance to buy really cheap bitcoins so as you can see guys i'm more bullish than bearish even though we still need to test this ten thousand dollar but everything is still pointing that we should see a big run to the upside like we had here up to fourteen thousand dollars so this big run here we didn't see that yet this three thousand to nine thousand four hundred dollar move i compare it more to this one over here when we bottom at 3000 and we came up here to $4,300 and then had the big start and run up to the upside. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 100 subscribers. And if you want to take advantage of these pumps and dumps and take as much gains as you can with you, you can do that with the leverage on those exchanges here that you find down below in the video description. Bybit is my favorite one here. If you use my sign up link, you can get $90 for free. On Femex, Primex, PT, and Bityard, you also can get some sign up rewards if you use my invitation links. And there you can everywhere trade with the leverage different assets, not only crypto, but also gold or other assets. So go down below here and check them out because you can get some free rewards as well. And please also join our free Discord trading chat, it's completely for free. Everyone is welcome here, you get all the updates live completely for free and sometimes i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so if you have twitch you're very welcome also to follow me over here so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye